So as you're probably wondering, what this video had anything to do with the bio? Well, let's talk about that. Hopefully, what you got out of it was that there is a viral epidemic or outbreak in the city of Los Angeles caused by a bioweapon, probably spread by a bioterrorist. So, let's talk about what a virus is. A virus is a small infectious agent that can replicate only inside the living cells of organisms. Most viruses are too small to be seen directly with the light microscope. Viruses infect all types of organisms. Since the initial discovery of the, of the tobacco mosaic virus in 1898, about 5,000 viruses have been described in detail. Although there are millions of different types, viruses are found in almost every ecosystem on earth and are the most abundant type of biological entity. The virus that you see here is influenza. Influenza viruses are spread by coughing and sneezing, like you just saw here. In plants, viruses are spread by insects that feed on sap, such as aphids. Another example is HIV, which is one of the several viruses transmitted through sexual contact and by exposure to infected blood. Viruses can infect only a limited range of hosts called the host range. This can be narrow or when a virus is capable, capable of infecting many insects broad. So, now let's elaborate more on what a virus is. Virus particles consist of two or three parts. The genetic material made from either DNA or RNA. Hopefully you know what DNA or RNA is. Which is long molecules that carry genetic information. And then there's a protein coat that protects these genes. And in some cases, an envelope of lipids that surrounds the protein coat when you're outside a cell. The shapes of viruses range from simple helical and isohydro to more complex structures. The average virus is about 1 100th the size of an average bacterium. The origins of viruses in the evolutionary history of life are unclear. Some may have evolved from plasmids, pieces of DNA that can, be, that can move between cells, while others may have evolved from bacteria. In evolution, viruses are an important means of horizontal gene transfer, which increases genetic diversity. Genetic engineering, also called genetic modification. Genetic engineering is a direct human manipulation of an organism's genetic material in a way that does not occur under natural conditions. It involves the use of recombinant DNA techniques, but does not include traditional animal and plant breeding any organism that is generated using these techniques is considered to be a genetically modified organism. The first organisms genetically engineered were bacteria in 1973 and in mice in 1974. Insulin producing bacteria were commercialized in 1982 and genetically modified food has been sold since 1994. The most common form of genetic engineering involves the insertion of new genetic material at an unspecified location in the host genome. This is accomplished by isolating and copying the genetic material of interest, generating a construct, a construct containing all of the genetic elements for correct expression and then inserting this construct into this host organism. Genetic engineering techniques have been applied in numerous fields including research, biotechnology, and medicine. Through genetic engineering, a genetically modified virus may be produced. A genetically modified virus is a virus that has gone through genetic modification for various biomedical purposes. Genetic engineering techniques have been applied in numerous fields including research, biotechnology, and medicine. Through genetic engineering, a genetically modified virus may be produced. A genetically modified virus is a virus that has gone through genetic modification for various biomedical purposes. These purposes include the following. Cancer treatment gene therapy, and lithium-ion batteries. Biological warfare, also known as germ warfare, is the deliberate use of disease-causing biological agents such as protozoa, fungi, bacteria, protists, or viruses to kill humans or other hum animals or plants. Biological weapons, 
often referred to as bioweapons are living organisms or replicating entities like viruses that reproduce or, rep or replicate within their host victims. Biological weapons may be employed in various ways to gain strategic or ad tactical advantage over an adversary. It is important to note that all the classical and modern biological weapons are animal diseases, the only exception being smallpox. Thus, in any use of biological weapons, it is highly likely that animals will become either ill, either simultaneously, with, or perhaps earlier than humans. Indeed, the largest biologi biological weapons accident known, the anthrax outbreak in Shanderhof in the Soviet Union in 1979. She became ill with anthrax as far as 200 kilometers from the release point of the organism from a military facility in the southeastern portion of the city. Now we're going to be talking about anthrax, but before we do, let's talk about bioweapons more. You see, there has been controversy that the swine flu was a bioweapon. There are some factors that suggest that the swine flu killing people in Mexico may be a biological weapon, but obviously no such conclusion could be drawn at the time. The, the man you see here is from YouTube channel Tene Bruce. He believes that swine flu could be a bioweapon. Anthrax is an acute disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. Most forms of the disease are lethal and affects both humans and other animals. Although anthrax affects mainly livestock and wild game, humans become, can become infected through the direct or indirect contact with sick animals. Prompt treatment with antibiotics can cure most anthrax infections contracted through the skin or contaminated meat. The three different types are cutaneous anthrax, gastroenteritis, gastrointestinal anthrax and inhalation anthrax. Inhaled anthrax is more difficult to treat. The Demon in the Freezer is a 2002 nonfiction book on the biological weapon agents, smallpox and anthrax and how the American government develops defensive measures against them. It was written by journalist Richard Preston. In section 5 of the book that I found interesting, entitled A Woman with a Peaceful Life, tells the story of a microbiologist, Dr. Lindsay, Lisa E. Hensley, who was originally recruited to do Ebola work. In January 2000, the development of a lethal genetically engineered mousepox virus that she helped develop, also known as the, Ram, the Jackson Ramshaw virus, was finally made, and its implication for bioterrorism are described. Finally, the awakening of the smallpox by U.S. Army investigators to induce smallpox disease is in monkeys for the first time is dramatically recounted and dramatically change, changes the way bioterrorism is played.